Ah, there we are. I'm not just started with you being without you being on bad on the uh, our Just get them So let's see if I can hold me on there and then I can No and that's okay yeah like that Let's just shake it sideways See again that it's not too smooth at the bottom but the sand is going into it can you see? And I look at it. it needs now next one to come into here and that's the final. I thought that could be it. Now, now let's just see. Gives us a right good contrast. And that little bit of water on. No, that'll do. Just get a little bit of wash our brush out now. Get a little bit of bluish colour. A little bit of glycerine in the blue. So it's a little, I think a little bit of purple cast. And then just come across here. Not that quite that, a bit more blue in it. I think a paper would be better, really. Let's see. Right, I'll just go and dry that off here. And again, next one. Nice and dark with a dark burnt umber and a bit of paint grey in it. And now let's see, this one's been a more oh. level enough. It has to be straight, oh, you know, all the way up at the bottom of hers. What you're doing is it's perspective again, isn't it? You know, you have to have that perspective.
And I'm going to take a smaller brush, just this one for this, and just put a few little things in it. This is the uh, thing I'm using, palette. There's some burnt umber, see there. There's your burnt umber, there's your like lemon yellow, there's your ochre, there's your blues. This is your alicerine, your burnt sienna, which is a red cast, and that's light red. So, oh, we were here, weren't we? No, we won't. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to put too much in, I think we've got a lot in there, really. You know what they say, a little is more, always. Just make that really dark out there. Then one that way. Well, we'll make that into a bigger rock. Just bring it forward. And, uh, this too, eh? Let's see. With two yellow ochre on top of it, eh? This here, we won't bring this a bit further. Harvard. Like that. Now let's put some of that dark on top of it. Why it's still wet that? Like that, eh? Yeah. Yellow ochre again here. Although it's not yellow ochre when it gets all this in it. I like that bit of uh, sand there, do you? You know, makes that difference, doesn't it? It's this, this bit of foreground which, if you're not careful, you'll clutter. If we did have a shadow it would be like just behind there, wouldn't it, come across like that. Eh? And the shadow from behind there, see. I hope that's okay for you. I know you like a few of these scenes. Now that's with a, a hake brush. It, make, it may, means you've not needed to throw that hake brush away, have we? You may make use of it. Having a bit of fun again. There we are. Now, where does that go? It goes down, down the bottom, doesn't it? Just a little bit higher, don't it? Doesn't it? Sorry. You don't mind my wigging accent, do you? Oh. Now it has to be straight, hasn't it? Water. So let's put this straight. Are we right there? Straight? Now, how do you like that? How is that for you, Louise? I know Louise likes doing these kinds of scenes, don't you?
Crikey, it's getting warm in here. Uh, I'm not good. Well, I'm on my own this week. Who has? I didn't want, I'm not what I like to say, but she's at my wife's in hospital. And I hope she'll be home shortly. Uh, so, well, I'm quiet. It's a quiet week for me. <sighs> okay, everyone. So there you are with the ache brush. It proves you don't have to be wild with an ache. You can still use uh, a bit of colour and uh, get some nice paintings with it instead of being wild and unruly with it and hope for the best kind of thing on a wet piece of paper, which most people do, don't they? You don't need, you could still do a nice painting with the ache brush. It does help with your skies, I must say. Uh, Ron Ranson was great at this. But he was an artist as well, he was a good artist. He didn't rely on the Hague totally, really. But there you are, my lovelies. Ladies and gents too. Take care, everybody.